Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to take a look at Application Insights, also known as App Insights. And we are going to show you how you can add Application Insights to your app services and how you can use some of the features that uh, it is providing. Application Insights is a very complex tool with lots of features and is really out of the scope of this course. But uh, since in the next video, we are going to take a look at auto scaling feature of app services and we're going to uh, configure auto scaling and you're going to use application insights and uh, more specifically the live metrics feature of, of application insights to show you how exactly app services scale based on the uh, roles that we define for it I decided to record this video and quickly go through application insights Based on Microsoft's documentation, Application Insights is an application performance management service. Uh, you can use it to monitor your live applications. It will automatically detect performance anomalies. It also includes powerful analytics tools to help you diagnose issues and understand what users are exactly trying to do with your, your application. I would like to mention that it's not specific to app services. It doesn't mean that you can use it only if you're using app services. For example, in Visual Studio, if you right-click on any project and go to Add, you will have the option to add Application Insights telemetry to your application. And it doesn't really matter if you're hosting your application on Microsoft Azure or AWS or any other cloud provider um, or even on your premises. You can simply add uh, Application Insights to your um, app and it will capture telemetry from your application. Adding it to App Services is super easy though. If you go to your App Service and then under Settings, you have the option. And you can simply go there and turn it on for your application. So collect application monitoring data using Application Insights enabled. As it says here, your app will be connected to an auto-created Application Insights resource called Fast Pace Tutorials. And then it's going to replace all the settings in the app setting if you have already something there. So uh, let's call it app, uh, Fast Pace Tutorials dash App Insights. The location is going to be Central US as my other resources in this resource group and then uh, my application is .NET Core and the collection level I'm going to choose recommended and then profiler leave it as on. You have a snapshot debugger and a couple of more um, options here. I'm also going to enable SQL commands. Uh, by doing this it will show the dependencies that your application has to a SQL server and it will uh, go one level deeper in that sense. Okay, Application Insights is added to my app service. If we go to my resource group and refresh, you'll be able to see that now I have a new resource called Fast Pace Tutorials Dash App Insights. If I go inside of my app insights, right away on the overview tab, you'll see that I have a chart for failed requests server response time, server requests, and availability. Here you can see that we have options like live metrics, which is uh, the one we're going to use in the next uh, video. Uh, you have failures. If you go to failures, it will show you all the failed requests. And then you can uh, go deeper into exceptions. And uh, right now we have zero. But you can go one level deeper and see all the exceptions that are captured by Application Insights. Live Metrics is a very cool feature of Application Insights. Right now there is nothing to show because my application is not really uh, doing much. But if I can start working with my application, if I start sending requests, it will be captured here and it will show you number of requests per second as you can see here. It, can, uh, it shows you request duration. Uh, dependencies, failures, CPU usage, and things like that. That was it. Hope you learned something new today.